When Jethro Tull beat Metallica at the Grammys. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Well, when you think about metal slash rock for a Grammy, one would probably assume that Metallica would win it over Jethro Tull. Were you surprised by the Grammy win when, I mean, Iggy Pop, Metallica, uh, Jane's Addiction? I was pleasantly surprised. Well, uh, we, I was surprised when we were nominated for a Grammy because it was a new category and I didn't think we really fitted that category whatsoever. But somehow we'd got shoehorned in there and our record company, Chrysalis Records, said, well, look, um, you know, we have some other artists that we have to pay for to go to the Grammy ceremonies. You know, we've got to pay for their airfares and hotels and, and so on. Uh, but, you know, you're not going to win. You know, Metallica are definitely going to win this 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 award. But you know, it's great that you were nominated, but we don't we don't really. It's not on the budget to bring you over to uh, Los Angeles for the Grammy Awards. So I said that's okay. I understand. I I do the same thing. So uh, it was late at night. We were working in the studio, um, very late at night, and I got a phone call from. Uh, one of the, the guys at Chrysalis just said, oh, congratulations, you won the Grammy. So I, you know, cut the phone and said to the guys in the band, I said, hey, we won, we won the Grammy. And so thanks very much for letting us know and put the phone down. And we carried on trying to finish the, the recording we were doing before sun came up. And, um, and that was really it. But, of course, the next day I became aware of the, uh, the furore surrounding that Grammy win. And poor Alice Cooper had to get up and accept the award on our behalf to a, a chorus of cat calls and boos. And it must have been, you know, very embarrassing for him. To, I actually met Alice Cooper for one, the one and only time many, many years later. And I apologized to him for what he went through and thanked him for, for stepping up to, to do that. But um, What did he say? The, oh, well, he kind of shrugged it off. I think he was... Um, uh, he, we were both in an airport catching flights to faraway places on diff different directions, so it was a very quick high. But no, we didn't just didn't discuss it in any detail whatsoever. More from Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull coming up next weekend, next Saturday. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rocky Stream Music.